Common table expressions are a very useful feature in SQL, especially when your queries start getting complex. They're available for many different database vendors. In this video, you'll learn what a common table expression or CTE is, why you'd want to use one, see an example of using one in a query and how to write one. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Database Star YouTube channel, the place for developers looking to improve their database and SQL skills. A common table expression or a CTE, is a query that you can define within another query. It's like a subquery, but you give the subquery a name. You can then refer to this named query in other places within your query. A CTE is sometimes called a with clause, because the way you define one is by using the with keyword. It's also called subquery refactoring in the Oracle community. The CTE feature is available in many databases, Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, Postgres, SQLite and MariaDB, and probably many others. I'll demonstrate the examples on a MySQL database and show any differences for other vendors as they are needed. I've connected to a MySQL database using MySQL Workbench. You can use any other IDE and database you like if you want to follow along. We've got some sample data in a database here. We'll use an employee table and a department table yeah, it's a commonly used example, but hopefully it's easy to understand. There's a link in the description to the scripts to set up this sample data on my GitHub repository if you want to follow along. We've got two tables. Here's the employee data with a few rows. And here's the department data. Now let's look at a select query we can use to demonstrate the concept of a CTE. This query will show the employee names and the number of employees from the same department. It uses a subquery in the inner join clause. This query will first find the department ID and the count of each department in the subquery. It will then use this result and call it D, so it can be used in the rest of the query. We then join this D result to the employee table which we've called E. Finally, we select the first name, last name, department ID and depth count fields. We can run this query and see the results here. We've got a few employee names, the department ID, and the number of employees in the department. Let's update this query by adding a common table expression. A common table expression will allow us to give a name to the subquery that we have used. The main reason to do that in this example, other than to demonstrate the concept, is to make the query more readable. I'll cover the benefits in more detail after we see the query. To update our query to use a CTE, first we add the with keyword to the very start of the query, before the select keyword. We then provide a name for this subquery. This is the name that is used in the main query, and it helps to make it something that can be understood. Our subquery shows the department ID and count, so we can call this department underscore count. It's descriptive and doesn't cause confusion, which is why I didn't call it depth count as we have a column with that name already. After the name, we put the as keyword. Then we open brackets and add a closing bracket. Within these brackets is where we add our query. Move the subquery from the main query into these brackets so it looks like this. After the brackets, we just start the select query. There's no comma or any other keywords here. Next, we update the main query to refer to our new CTE instead of the subquery. We remove everything for the subquery, so from the opening bracket to the closing bracket. Add in the name of the CTE here, which is department underscore count. We'll leave the table alias of D, because we've used that in other places in the query. If you look at this join clause here, we can see it's as though the department count is a table or a view. That's what a CTE lets us do. We can use a subquery just like it's a view or a table. Now let's run the query. We can see the results on the screen here, which are the same as the original query without the CTE. You might be wondering why would we go to all that trouble for such a small query? Well, it might not make much of a difference to the size and complexity of this query, but it's helpful for larger queries. Why would you use a common table expression? There are a few main benefits. Let's take a look at them. Using a common table expression can make your query more readable. This is especially true for larger queries and those that use complicated logic on columns. 
You can move the complicated logic to a CTE, which makes the overall query simpler and easier to read. If you've got complex logic or a subquery, you can give it a name. So when you refer to it in your query, you will know what that subquery means, instead of adding comments or trying to work it out every time you look at it. Also, if you have two parts of a query that use the same data or subquery, you can move it to a CTE and refer to the CTE in both places. If you need to use multiple CTEs within a query, you can simply add a comma after the brackets of the first query and add the second CTE. Here's what it could look like. We have the first query in the with clause, and after the brackets we have a comma. We then add the name of the second query and continue with the as keyword and the details of the query. We don't need to add the with keyword again. Another benefit of using a common table expression is that you can use it just like a view in SQL. It has a name and columns. You can join to it and filter from it, which is helpful if you don't want to create a new view object or don't have the permission. You can also use common table expressions to write recursive queries or hierarchical queries. This is a type of query that refers to previous rows of the same query, such as finding the parent category name of a category or a manager name for an employer. I'll create a whole video on hierarchical queries as it can get complex and different databases handle it differently. If you're watching this video and thinking, hey, this sounds like a temp table, then you're right. It's very similar to a temp table. A temp table, in case you didn't know, is a type of object in the database that you can create and it's automatically dropped when you no longer need it. It's great for simplifying your queries and improving a multi-step process. However, there are some differences between a common table expression and a temp table. A CTE cannot have indexes or constraints, but a temp table can have both indexes and constraints. A CTE only exists when a query is run, but a temp table can exist for either the connection or for all sessions, depending on how it's set up. A CTE can be recursive, but a temp table cannot. You would use a CTE when you want to improve the readability of a complex query and possible for a recursive query. You would use a temp table if you have a large result set or need to refer to the result set more than once. So that's what a CTE or common table expression is. Hopefully this video has helped you understand what they are and given you some ideas on how to use them. If you're interested in learning more about subqueries, check out this video here on subqueries and when to use them. If you want to learn more about database design and SQL, visit my website at databasestar.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.